Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we are discussing how to know you are not in the will of God. Beloved, there is nothing more debilitating spiritually than a person who comes to realize they don't know why or what is their purpose. Your purpose is tied to the divine will of God that only God himself can reveal to you. If you seek other people and ask them, what is God saying about my life, for my life, for my ministry? If you send in emails and texts all across the, the, the globe, friend, mm -mm, that's not how you find the will of God. But know this and be sure of this. When you're not in his perfect will, you will not have his joy. Joy is a fruit of the spirit. And irregardless of the sufferings, the persecution, the, the, the betrayals, the lies, the schemes, the plots of, of the adversary, no matter what's going on in your life, joy, it, I can't explain this, friend, but I could tell you this. All these years I've walked with God, all these years I have known of his joy. And this is how we gauge, especially in warfare. See, when you're in intense warfare, friend, and I want to thank everyone that prays for me. There is some things that go on that you all, I don't talk about it on the channel. Because it's part of the cost to walk with Jesus and to obey what he has told you to do. So it's not worthy of mention, but let me tell you, there is nothing more endearing than knowing that people sincerely love you and care about your best interests as a servant of the Lord. So I want to thank everyone on the channel that earnestly prays for me because I'm telling you, friends, warfare, when you are trying to help people understand they're going the wrong way, and they can lose their soul. Oh, it's warfare. But joy. This is how you know you're in the will of God, friend. And this is how you know you're out. Because in his presence, there is what? Fullness of joy. And there are pleasures evermore. This is when you're in the perfect will of God. Irregardless of all that we go through, friends. You got to know his will because the will of God protects you. It moves you along. It keeps you uh, from losing traction because of the many distractions that come from people and the enemy trying to harm you emotionally and spiritually to steal your oil. All oh, the oil bandits, they, they'll take your oil, friend. You got to guard that oil. See, joy is a lubricant. It's like the anointing. It's a lubricant of the heart and the soul. So when there's friction, when there is serious battle, the joy of the Lord somehow just ooze on through your sanctified soul, friend. This is why you must understand where the scriptures say the battle is not ours, it's the Lord's. And, 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 and one tactic of the evil one to keep you in a place of disarray and disorder is when you keep seeking others instead of, as Jesus said, if you ask, seek, and knock, you're going to find God. You're going to find his will, friend. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9 says, It's God's will that no man perish. So everything, when it comes to the will of God, comes to the redemption, the rejuvenation. And, uh, and, and, and listen, friends, there are many people that know and love Jesus. 
So everybody is not ignorant of Christ, saving grace. So we have to keep in mind that some of us are called simply to water, some to plant. But we know God gives the increase as he wills that no man perish. And Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will inherit his kingdom. But those that do the will of his father. And let me tell you, the will is Christ. And, and we can't put Christ as the centerpiece and not preach and, and tell people and challenge people to come out of their adultery. Come out of that second and third marriage when your first husband and wife is still alive. Come out of your fornication. God is patient, friends. But at some point, we don't know when God will turn us over. You can't keep playing around with your sin. He, he or she that is serious about the gospel of Christ, you can't help but tell people to stop smoking a weed. Stop lying, stop cheating, stop playing all these church games. That's right, my friend. Because the will of God is tied to the Christ. And the Christ is the word that was made flesh. And where he is, truth is. And where you are living a lie, that word is going to come and find you. And this is where the warfare of those who are in the will of God, it increases, it comes, it goes, it's up, it's down. Why? Because you are dealing constantly with people who are deceived. And the words say some have to be snatched out. That's right, snatched out. That means it ain't going to be pretty. <laughs> but let me reassure you, friend, when you're not in the will of God, if you have done something to grieve the Holy Spirit, you're not going to have his joy. Enough has been said, friend. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And the joy of the Lord is an indicator. He is right there near you and he loves you despite what others say, what others attempt to do to harm you. The joy, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of of the Lord. Y'all know I'm not a singer, but I'm a worshiper. And that just sprang up. The joy of the Lord is our strength. That's what separates us from anybody else is the peace of God and the joy, the joy, the joy of the Lord. Enough has been said, friend. Find the will of God and don't let anybody move you from that place. And keep in mind, if you're seeking humans to know his will, you're not serious yet. I can assure you, when you get serious and you're chasing it after God, you didn't need nobody to tell you how to get to know that person you fell deep in love with. You didn't need nobody to tell you how to get to know her or him better, did you? Nope. And you don't need nobody to tell you how to get to know the creator. Because when you serious, the Holy Spirit begin to nudge and navigate and, and whisper in your heart. You'll know what to do when you're serious. Oh, yes, 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 and yes. I'm a witness. I'm a witness before there was ever the internet. I'm a witness before there was ever CDs and you could just sit up and listen to the word. We had to go get it, friend. That's right. When I met Jesus over 30 years ago, we, there was no computers. Huh, huh. That's right. So you millennials and some of you folks that's just now coming into Christ, you got it easy because you can sit up on your phone, on your computer and eat that word, research that word. You can pull up the Greek and the Hebrew in a matter of seconds. It would take weeks and days to do some serious study from the concordance, just seeking to know who is this God that touched my wretched soul. So come on, friend, you want his will? Hmm. You want to know his divine purpose for your life? Get serious about him. Get serious about him. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, the joy of the Lord is our strength. 
the joy of the Lord is our strength. Don't be laughing at my singing. <laughs> hey, the joy of the Lord. And don't be a hater because Sister Sharon got joy. And over the years, Jesus has taught me the war and how to protect that oil. Because friend, that's what separates us from anyone else is his presence. That's right. Enough has been said. I love you guys. Until next time, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord. Mm. God bless my friend. Till next time.